Welcome to another episode of Discover Harmony Florida. I'm Kristen McCary and I'm here with your host. Janine Corcoran, broker for Corcoran Connect, a real estate company. And um, it is nearly June, um, but we are going to talk about some events that are going on for the summer um, in Harmony and then in St. Cloud because, you know, Harmony doesn't have a ton of ton of stuff in the summer um, because I think most people are just like, at the pool. Yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> or on vaca- vacation. Or on vacation. Absolutely. <laughs> or sometimes kids are in summer camps and things like that. Right. But um but yeah, can you believe summer's here? When um, do the kids get out? I think it's the Friday before Memorial Day, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. That came quick. Yeah. Sometimes they go back after Memorial Day, but I don't think they do this year. Right. At least my kids aren't. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they made their special ca- calendar. Right. Yeah, they made their own calendar. It's called the I'm Not Going Back After Memorial Day calendar. And then Kristen has one leaving middle school, leaving um, Frank Talempko, the principal. I know. And I'm so gonna... that means for everyone that doesn't know that I get to move up to high school to the new SAC <laughs> committee. I don't have to do middle school anymore. For th- <laughs> did it for three years. I'm yeah. such a good Mima. You are a good Mima. I don't go. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't way, need... no one goes. <laughs> I don't need full of parents like at less than five yeah well hopefully uh there's more parent involvement in the high school but i'll have two high schoolers i'll have a a freshman and a senior um which i am definitely not ready for at all i'm really really behind in terms of you know going to visit schools and stuff so this summer we'll probably be busy on that front um but yeah so we're we're looking forward to i guess i'm looking forward to summer i don't know the kids being home all the time is like a lot to deal with oh sure sure well they sleep late though kids, teenagers sleep late right you know but then you gotta feed them three times a day I like know. i know they That's... just they eat so much and then they snack more in the summer yeah. i think because they're just there and they're bored and so they just yeah but that's all normal we we all did that as kids didn't we yeah but it doesn't mean i have to like it (laughs) so um and so anyway so in terms of events in harmony this uh this summer um i think we have one coming up in may you want to tell them so the end end, end of may on the 28th uh there is a pool party and it's on a Saturday, so it's the day after the kids get out of school. And it's from 11 to 2, put on by our Harmony Activities Director, which is paid through our HOA. So that's Jennifer Abramson. Abr- Abramson. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. <laughs> anyway, so there's DJ, games, prizes, and so that should be a fun day. It that should, should be, be a fun day for the kids, something to do. Yeah, they usually enjoy that. I love the pool parties. They're always, you know, it's fun because, I mean, people are at the pool anyway, but just having the activities there kind of, you know, makes it more um, more fun. You don't have to come up with your own entertainment. There's entertainment. Yeah, that's true. And I wonder because it's Memorial Day weekend, whether that'll be like less attended because people go away. I kind of feel like I should be going away. I have no plans to go away. I have no place to go. I don't know. But I just feel like for some reason, maybe it's a cold coming out of COVID a couple of years. I just feel like you need to go away. Yeah. You should be away for something. Where do you go? I don't know. Over to the beach, right? But, but everybody the, goes to the beach. I know, and then the and then the the prices on the hotels are so expensive on the holiday weekend, and right? I don't know. I just I have just had that yearning, yearning to to just be away. Like, is that you having a party now that you're? In the I don't. Hotels? Well, so that's just it. Like, so we used to host a a block party every Memorial Day weekend on our old block. Um, and I had kind of like talked to a few neighbors about doing something for our block, but uh, to be perfectly honest, we've just been so busy, like moving in. I thought like, I was trying to give myself like a week or two, right? I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to move in in a week or two and everything will be back to normal. That is a lie. It takes way longer to settle into a place. Um, I still don't have the studio set up. I have my, my stuff in, but I haven't put anything up. I um, cannot wait until the studio's set up. I know, because so I can you... just show up at a different place. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so it's, you know, it's definitely taken us some time. So I, I guess I'll have to circle back with people, but I wouldn't mind. I loved doing Memorial Day block parties because you could, you know, hang out and have a good time with your neighbors um, and not have to leave the community and not have to deal with bigger crowds. And, and then you, know, you just go home when you want. Right. You know, like, you're right, like I'm right done. There. Let me just right. leave. You know? That was fun. If yeah. it rains, you can go inside for a little bit, come back out when it stops raining. Like, it's so... Anyway, I don't know. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Wingspan Way people, if anybody would like to do a block party, whoop, whoop, for Memorial Day, give us a call. Yeah, all 10 of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are getting really full over there, if you haven't mm-hmm. noticed. I think the houses, I'm really excited because the houses across the street from us are like getting really close. Like a lot of people have driveways now. And, and so that just means that I'm going to have a whole lot less truck. It's so funny because when Rachel backs out to go to school in the morning, sometimes she'll come home, she'll be like, 
it was so crazy. There were so many trucks behind me. I didn't know how I was going to back out. Like <laughs> she was really stressed about that. So, um, so oh, she'll be Rachel. very, she'll be very happy when all the trucks are gone and, uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway. so should we talk about, uh, St. Cloud events? Yes. There's so, we have some great events going on in St. Cloud. Um, do you want to kick us off with the first one you have on the list? So I guess, um, St. Cloud, the city of St. Cloud will be starting on June 14th um, through the whole month, at least through June, until we know what's going on in July. They do what's called a um, summer kids um, flick. So they're showing every Tuesday, they'll show a movie. So um, when it starts on June 14th, um, it starts at 1030 a.m. and it goes to about noon. And the movie is, which, what movie is on Luca. that one? Luca. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Luca. Luca, rated PG. And so that one is free, of course. Your children have to be accompanied by an adult at all times. So um, that'll be starting every Tuesday in the second week in June. Something to do down at the St. Cloud Community Center. That's awesome. On the 21st, they have All Dogs Go to Heaven. Um, oh, and, I like that one. Yep. And then on the 28th, they have Raya and the Last Dragon. So a lot of good fun um, kids' movies, I think, for um you know the kids to enjoy of course you know parents have to be there (laughs) you can't just send them on their own on a bike (laughs) yeah um but 12 and under uh is free um and you guys can go out and enjoy a movie in the middle of the day nice great matinee i think go ahead no i was gonna say did you know that they actually have a um a cruise going out not a cruise but a dinner cruise Mm -hmm. um heading out uh, down by crabby bills and that's on friday june 17th this is for the parents right that sounds like fun. I, 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 it reminds me of the dinner cruise we did on vacation. It was uh, years ago. I was still in high school. And um, we, John wasn't there that summer. He must have been playing ball or something. And uh, anyway, so it was, it was, you know, me and you and Lauren and dad. And uh, we, we were on this boat and there was this curly haired girl looking at the sunset over the side of the boat. And I was like feeling all sentimental. <laughs> so I go up to her. And I put my arm around her and I'm like, isn't this so beautiful? And I looked down and it wasn't Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's right. <laughs> so anytime somebody says a dinner cruise, that's the one experience that I go back to. Um, and so that's that's really cool, though, that St. Cloud's doing that. I will be sure to check to make sure that it's my child I'm hugging this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. So Friday, June 17th, it, it is $50 um, and it's an hour um, sunset cruise, which is nice. I mean, going out. On Lake Tahoe, East Lake Tahoe would be nice, but uh, fifty dollars a person, um, and it leaves at seven o'clock. And you have to be there by seven. I think it said it leaves at seven twenty, but it says seven to ten thirty. But it's at the St. Cloud uh, Marina. I think that should be lots of fun. I'm yeah. bummed. I actually went to put it in my calendar and found out we're 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 still away. So yeah, that's a bummer. But yeah. it looks like fun. You guys should go. I think actually, I think we're actually away too. Oh, you are? <laughs> yes, because that is the weekend that the uh, St. Cloud Soccer Club girls U19 oh. team mm-hmm. is actually going to Texas to play in the U.S. Regional uh, Presidents Cup. It is uh, June 14th through the 19th, um, which is a really big deal, actually. I mean, if I can plug that for a second, that's a really big deal for these girls. Mm-hmm. St. Cloud is a small town. We have a small soccer club. Um, you know, most people write you off because you don't have all the dollars behind you. You're not like mm-hmm. the Orlando cities of the world or whatever. Um, you know, a lot of these girls are here on scholarship. Um, and, and it's they, expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> and they, expensive. Um, they won the Florida President's Cup. Um, outright they battled some really top tier teams and they're u19 so that means that everybody on that roster should be you know 19 or under Um, and a lot of the teams that they played are full of girls that are just seniors in high school you know like but our team because it's such a small club um, we have a mix of girls we have freshmen on our team that are going to you know they're battling against these full-grown women basically wow. can you put um, photos off of that absolutely picture? absolutely and so they are raising funds because it's an expensive trip um like i said it's going to be close to thirty thousand dollars to get the team there um oh tickets to, i know t- tickets that, to doesn't Dallas even, are, that doesn't even include plane tickets right that's that that, that is the plane tickets and like rental car and you know hotel okay, okay. and whatever so you're you're averaging you know i think we're at already 2100 just for me and rachel to go fly get a car and stay in a hotel so wow. it's an expensive trip um i did, and there I, did some fundraising. I did i did write a check today so oh good i am supporting i Thank made sure you. the office wrote a check and 
Thank you. Well, we are doing, they do have GoFundMes. There's a 50-50 raffle going. We're going to do some fundraising opportunities out in downtown St. Cloud, some spirit nights at different restaurants. Um, and of course, there's business sponsorship opportunities. So if anybody's mm-hmm. interested in supporting the St. Cloud Soccer Club girls in particular for this trip, um, we would be greatly appreciate it. But that is why I'm remiss. We will not be here for the Sunset Cruise, which is what this was all about originally. Um, but it looks like a really fun time. So I hope they do it again. Wow. That's that's exciting stuff. So do you have anyone on the team that is out of high school? No, our the you know we have a couple of girls uh, that are our graduating seniors, but mm-hmm. I think that at, there's four or five of them total in the whole team, and oh, that's wow. eighteen so that's players. Like, how many teams are there in the league? Do you know? Um, so we battled like thirty two teams in Florida to get there, and we're battling against fourteen states. It's the southeastern United States that we're that's battling. Exciting. Um, so that's pretty big. And then if they win this, or if they're in the top two, they can go to the national championship, which will be in North Carolina this year. So that's closer. It is closer. <laughs> I feel like I could drive to that. I'm not driving to Dallas, Texas. I'm sorry. That's really far. Really far. That's too far for me. So and if you thought it was hot in Florida, wait till you get to Texas. I know. I know. We're not looking forward. <laughs> To that so i think the girls are going to be training quite a bit um you know in the summer heat this year you know trying to get ready for it but it's exciting i'm really proud of them and they're really proud of themselves and some of the things you know it's funny we did a little interview with them and some of the things that they said were like they're really excited for the opportunity to be able to show other college coaches what they can do because in big tournaments like this college coaches come to watch oh, right sense, because yeah. you're you're at the top of the top mm-hmm. um you know in terms of you know uh, skill level and so they're really excited because they don't have as many opportunities to be in front of nobody's coming down to St. Cloud soccer club to watch girls play <laughs> like no offense, but you know, so it's really cool. Um, they are coached by Scott Marlega. He's the harmony high school girls coach. So, and it's funny because some of the girls are, you know, about half the teams from harmony. Some of them are from St. Cloud. We've got some gateway. We've got some Toho Pekaliga, you know, high school kids. Um, so it's kind of cool that like during the high school season, they're all kind of rivals, but then they come together for clubs. So it oh, that's brings, neat. Yeah. you know, a nice different camaraderie. So it's really exciting for them. Yeah. I'm excited for, for the whole team. Congratulations to everyone. That's great. That's yes. great. Well, thank you. Um, all right. So then after that, we have Sunday, June 19th. It's Juneteenth movie in the park. So that's um, for everyone. Yep. You know, so you can bring your chairs, blankets, um, bring the family for the evening of cinema, food, and fun. So I'm guessing they'll have food there. I didn't say whether it's food trucks or what it is, but, that, you know, that's right. that's kind of neat. That's a good good time. Uh, 7.30 to 10 uh, at Hopkins Park. That's 620 East 17th Street in St. Cloud. And then what else do we have? Uh, so besides then the 21st doing the um, the next movie which is, which that one? Oh, old dog, you said mentioned it, Old Dogs Go to Heaven. That Wednesday, the 22nd, um, from 11 to 1, it's $1 per person. I guess I do that just to commit at the Marina Banquet Hall. And that's um, June is um, uh, Men's Health Month to learn how to stay healthy. So all you men out there, you want to stay healthy for your women. So go to this on Wednesday, June 22nd at the Marina Banquet Hall um, down by the lakefront. That's awesome. And then, of course, uh, we mentioned it before, but uh, June 28th on Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. St. Cloud Community Center, um, we will be watching Raya and the Last Dragon. It's rated PG. Um, so a lot of good fun events going on. Um, I'm and sure they'll add more to the calendar. I'm like. sure. And, and actually, great thing I completely forgot about. We didn't put it on the list, but the um, monthly market that is held in oh, downtown right, right. St. Cloud. Yep. Mm-hmm. Always. Um, they are they do it on the last Wednesday of the month because there's all that construction down on Pennsylvania and 10th right now. Um, they're redoing the the streets. Um, they've moved everybody kind of over to New York Avenue for um, the monthly market. And in the summer, the June and July markets, they're actually going to be the teen right? The children's or the kids entrepreneur. Right. I forget what Stephanie mm-hmm. called it. Um, but she mentioned it at Z and Q boutique. She mentioned it in her, uh, business spotlight. Yeah. Um, but it was, uh, definitely going to be a cool thing for all the kids to get, kind of get out there. And I say kids, but you know, teens and all that kind of good stuff. So definitely check out the monthly market, um, this summer. I think it'd be a great time. Oh yeah. It'd be a great time. They, they, they do such a, such a, a good job. That's awesome. I, I love all the different events that are going on in St. Cloud. Um, you know, there's there's going to be lots of stuff, I'm sure, that'll come up yep. um, that we'll find out more. Uh, we'll probably post about it, talk about it, especially if it's something big and fun. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk about it. So, And if you're uh, if you're a resident of Harmony and you do something um, special, um, whether it's in our community or outside our community, just something about you. We do have a resident spotlight, so whether or not it's a business or not, it doesn't right. matter if you can just get in touch with us. Yep. 
Absolutely. Uh, you can give us a call at one eight four four Corcoran C O R C O R A N, um, or email us at discoverharmonyflorida at gmail dot com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you on that. And if you have any other suggestions, or topics that we should cover for the community, give us a call. Send us an email. We'd love to a uh, smoke signal, something, a comment. You know, let us know <laughs> we're not talking to ourselves. <laughs> um, so thanks so much for joining, guys, and we will see you in the next episode.